Okay, so you're in a course that has asked you only to use peer-reviewed or scholarly articles in your research that you cite for your paper. So by default, our database search is not peer-reviewed, but you could always turn that on. So it's really easy. If you wanted to do a search here, uh, you could just click this box right here. And then when it runs the search, uh, the results that come back will be limited only to peer-reviewed scholarly articles from peer-reviewed journals. So you can see that right here. So this kind of takes some, some guesswork out of it for you. And there is some interpretation on that. So uh, you might have an instructor who doesn't recognize some of these as as scholarly or peer-reviewed journals, but that's that's pretty rare. I rarely I rarely hear of that. The other way you could do that, I always, when I use this search, I always, I'll turn that off, I always go in here to advanced search. I always just bypass that search box and I go directly in. And then if you wanted to turn that on, you could turn it on right here. I'll run the same search here. And I've got that on there. Then when it runs a search, it will just find the peer-reviewed articles. Now, a lot of times at the top of these, there'll be a research starter. This is just kind of a, an overview of the topic. This is not peer-reviewed. So watch out for that. This is great to get you going, but <clears throat> the peer-reviewed articles are right down here. These are the ones from peer-reviewed journal. So that's the only catch. I think this is really nice. This is a research starter it's to kind of get you uh, up to speed on the basics of a topic, but the actual peer-reviewed journal start with result number one. Notice how that's the first, this is the first actual result. <clears throat> this is to kind of help you to navigate the topic a little bit. Now, if you, let's go back here, let's do a new search. If you ran a search and you didn't have that on, you could always turn it on later. So I'll run this with the, with the peer reviewed limiter off and we'll run a search here. And when this comes back, it's bringing back all all kinds of things. There's our research starter again. These are all sorts of ebooks, which are going to be great. So a lot of times, that's why we leave it off by default. You wouldn't find any of these books if the peer reviewed limiter was on, because even though it's from a professionally published book, that's not a peer reviewed journal. So a lot of times in your courses, when they ask for scholarly sources, a lot of times they're asking. This would be, I would think, probably very acceptable, a professional book on this topic. But if you at any point if you want to change your choice after you've run a search, you could always click right here, scholarly peer reviewed journals, and then it would edit out anything from those search results and just bring back the peer reviewed journals. So there you go. That's how you turn on the peer reviewed journal search in uh, our discovery system here, which is what this is here. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye bye.